Ah, the sizzle of McDonald's sausage. It's enough to make you crave your favorite breakfasts. Enough to head over to McDonald's. Enough to make you really wish this commercial were scratch and sniff. And if you're a sausage person, now get two satisfyingly savory sausage McGriddles, sausage biscuits, or sausage burritos for just three thirty three, or mix and match. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Single item at regular price. Ba da ba ba ba. Every day, we rise, challenging ourselves to work for what we believe in. At U.S. Border Patrol, protecting our borders is more than a job; it's a calling. Agents answer the call, working together to keep our country and communities safe. If you are ready for a new mission, join U.S. Border Patrol and go beyond. Learn more at cbp.gov/careers. The Air Adventures. Of Biggles. Ron Howe has been captured and taken under armed guard to Latonga, prepared to being charged with Simmons' murder. Biggles believes that Ron Howe was waiting for the Black Elephant at the time of his arrest, so he leaves a small party to keep watch for the native raiders. Bertie, Ginger, and Michu choose a small knoll as the vantage point from which they can watch the camp, and at the same time see any movement at the end of the bamboo belt. Night falls, and nothing has broken the jungle quiet. Then there's a shattering roar. Silhouetted against the skyline, Bertie sees a dozen or more lions trotting towards the knoll. They must have smelt us. They're coming straight for us. No, Juana. They're not attacked. Oh, I wouldn't lay down the law about that, old kid. They're coming from the jungle and they're aiming for this hill. They go past hill. Juana, watch. They're still coming, Michu. Let's light a fire to scare them off. No, 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 Bertie. Ah, the black elephant sausage may be about. He'd come tooting across forthwith. Well, who cares? At least we wouldn't be chewed to pieces by a herd of lions. No, I, I, I think Michu's right. They, they aren't coming very fast, you know, and they, they do seem to be veering around the base of the hills. We keep quiet. Not good for them to hear us. Oh, certainly not. No, no. Jim, keep quiet. Me? Oh, I didn't. <laughs> You see, Buana, they not come for us. They come to river to drink. Yes, I can see that old boot polish, but that river's only a few valley yards away. Those who might just feel hungry as well as thirsty. They no know we lie here, Buana. They've noses, haven't they? Yes, that's what's worrying us missies. We can smell them, so they must be able to smell us. Poor deal at all that nonsense. Why not smell us? No, you speak for yourself, old bean. I mean to say, let's take old Jim. He pongs or something awful. What? Wind blow wrong way. Uh, that, that's right. It, it's blowing from the lines to us. That's why we can smell them so strongly. But if they happen to tootle off in the other direction, it won't be blowing from them to us. I mean to say, suppose they trundle back on the other side of this hill. If they do that, we'll smell exactly like dinner time. Are they likely to do that, Michu? Michu not now. We wait. We see. Well, I suggest we burble off where they're guzzling that water. It may not be time later. No, they smell us if we move. We wait. It's like waiting for the mess parade to move off, isn't it? From the point of view of the stew. Sizzling <laughs> sausages listen to that row. What do they think this is? A valley symphony concert? They're making more noise than ever. I think they must have smelled us. No. One eye on roar that make others roar. It mean nothing. Well, it means the dickens of a valley row, by Jove. They finished drinking. They're moving away from the river. Quack, Bonner. Yes, by Jingo. At least let's see whether we're on the menu or not. They're going back the same way. They won't smell us. Shut up, you clot, or they'll hear us. Oh, that 
wasn't funny. Did you ever hear such an infernal din? Yeah, worth hearing all the same, old sausage. We Lissies wouldn't have missed it for anything. Ha, ha. No, definitely not. We were most intrigued to hear them drinking. Just like my dear old Aunt Jemima when she's wafting down the soup. Uh, do you think they're safe now, Michu? I'm not come back, Buena. Maybe other animal, but not lion. They all come when they hear rolling. Uh, just the same, I suggest we keep our rifles handy. Uh, you won't change your mind about the fire, Bertie. No, no, afraid not, old bean. We are here to have a gander at the black elephant if he turns up. It'll sort of spoil the effect if we give the game away. We just have to wait in the dark. Pleasant thoughts, what? That's fixed Bruno, Inspector. I've locked him in the same hut as the village headman. Oh, I hope they're securely guarded. They're both dangerous characters. There are two sentries on duty. Other six men sleeping in the hut next door. They won't get away. Does that leave you enough men to tackle the Black Elephant's gang? Oh, yes, I have another 30 or so. We always move strongly on these jungle tricks. There's more than the Black Elephant to worry about. What about that big camp up near the Ethiopian border? Aren't we going to do something about that? I'm not terribly interested in those chaps, Pat. As far as I'm concerned, they can trot back across the border when they hear of Bronau's arrest. They won't suit me, Inspector. It's my job to smash this gang completely. Well, they won't do much damage without their leader, surely. They're Ethiopians, carrying on illegal business in British territory. If you don't mind, I'll go after them. <laughs> of course I don't mind. You do just what you think right, Mr. Haynes. Well, um, would you mind helping me again? You see, I don't know exactly where that camp is. Oh, we can fix that. You remember the position, don't you, Pat? Oh, yes. You can fly Mr. Haynes up there in the morning. Take the proctor. Algy and I will be using the mossy. Thanks. I'm very grateful to you. Uh, what will we be doing, Pickles? I promised Bertie we'd be back over their post soon after dawn. We'll take the mosquito because of its armament. If the black elephant has turned up, we may feel inclined to start a scrap. But you're going to use my men to round him up, aren't you? If everything falls out the way I expect it to. But you can never foretell what's going to happen on these stunts. We'll take the mossy in case something cracks early. And we'll keep your bloke standing by their trucks in case it goes to plan. When do you expect the black elephant to appear, Biggles? <laughs> I've no idea, Pat. May have been last night, maybe tonight. I left the blokes at Bronau's camp so they could keep us posted on that. We may be able to make a more definite plan of campaign when we've heard from them in the morning. Just old trout. We were mauled by about a thousand savage belly lions last night. Well, more or less. Oh, they, they were only about a dozen, and they didn't maul us, Biggles. But they did come within a few yards of us. A dozen lions? Mm, absolutely, old bean. We lissies are qualified for the jolly old circus act now. We know how to say boo to savage lions without them answering back. The big thing is that you mustn't smell. <laughs> What's all this about? A herd of lions came down to the river to drink. We were on that knoll over there, and they came past the bottom of it. But they didn't notice us because we were to leave it of them. You can thank your stars for that. Well, tonight I suggest you light a fire. Oh, we uh, we can't do that, old bean. The black elephant might spot it. Light it by Bronau's tent. Then no one will be suspicious. In the morning, you can hop up to your watching post again. I, uh, I suppose we must stay another night. <laughs> Afraid so, Ginge. I gather the black elephant didn't come last night. There, not a belly sign of the sausage. Then he might come tonight. Sooner or later, he'll turn up. And when he does, we must be standing by. Quite a big affair. Bickles thinks it's the camp that Bronau's been using as a base. I should say it is. 
This is quite a convenient place to send the poached ivory to. And there's a big team of men to help him across the border with the stolen cattle when he brings them up. Anything you want to see particularly while we're flying over it? Yes. Yes, I'd like to see the bloke in charge. You mean Bronner? No. The fellow we left in charge of the camp. Uh, how many can we fit into this plane, Miss Kendall? Well, another two comfortably, but... Then, uh, have you any objections to putting down? I'd like to grab the two ringleaders and take them back with us. I thought you wanted to round up all those men. I can see there are too many for us. If I can grab the leaders, I'll be satisfied. The others will scatter. Not like to give any more trouble, either. Will you uh, help me, Miss Kendall? I suppose it'll be all right. But it seems awfully risky to me. Oh, there's always a risk on a job like this. You better just say the word and I'll forget all about it. <laughs> I'll say the word. Yes, we'll go down. <laughs> They're very quiet, aren't they? Uh, watching us to see what we do. Keep your hand away from your gun. But they're into it if necessary. A good many of them have guns. Yes. That'll be the boss. The bloke stepping forward. I don't think he's coming to he gave an order of some sort. They're right. Get down. They're going to shoot. Haynes dropped to the ground to dodge the murderous fire. Can they escape being shot down? Will Biggles trap the black elephant? Listen for the thrills as this story reaches its climax in the next stirring chapter of The Air Adventures of Biggles. Every day, we rise, challenging ourselves to work for what we believe in. At U.S. Border Patrol, protecting our borders is more than a job. It's a calling. Agents answer the call, working together to keep our country and communities safe. If you are ready for a new mission, join U.S. Border Patrol and go beyond. Learn more at cbp.gov careers. Spin your passion into a business with Shopify and break sales records with the world's best converting checkout. Let's hear that one more time. The world's best converting checkout. Shopify's legendary checkout makes it easier for customers to shop on your website, across social media, and everywhere in between. Now that's music to your ears. Any way you spin it, you can be a smash hit with Shopify. Start your dollar a month trial today at shopify.com slash records.